Uh, good afternoon, uh, Eric. Uh, I'm uh, Preston Boop, and uh, I'm a Union County incumbent commissioner of 16 years, and uh, I'm seeking re-election uh, in the November election for four more years. 16 years. 16 years, yes. So it's January 6, 2020. I'm going to have you look into a crystal ball. Um, you've been sworn into office again. Is there one major issue beyond something routine that you want the board to address you know, kind of right off the bat? Well, always on uh, in in January, the beginning, you, you know, we have to approve salary budgets and and uh, approve the budget, and and of course, uh, I'm pretty sure we'll put together a uh, legitimate, uh, uh, normal kind of uh, budget. Uh, but there are, is always a possibility for a new group of commissioners to open a budget and and uh, change the budget uh, if if that's necessary. I don't think that'll be the case. Uh, one of the things that we're working on, we're going to get started in in uh, uh, this fall yet that will have to carry over into 2020, is uh, uh, expansion of broadband into Union County. And uh, uh, my colleagues and I, John and John, are, are working on those things right now. Um, in the months since your victory in the primary election, has your experience campaigning brought to light any new issues or concerns from the public that maybe you hadn't given much consideration to prior? Eh, after, after all this time, it, it's kind of normal, uh, um, and uh, I don't think there's anything uh, uh, huge out there. Uh, uh, I think the general public uh, got some information that they were unaware of, but nothing uh, mind-boggling. Well, um, expand on that. What do you mean the general public got information they were unaware of? Well, you, you, you know, most people don't even know what county commissioners do. Uh, and uh, uh, or what they're responsible for, and so they, they, they think that they have responsibilities that uh, they really don't have. Uh, uh, you know, I had somebody come into the coffee shop the other morning and say, "Yeah, you got to do something about that traffic jam at Dunkin' Donut on Route 15 in Lewisburg." I said, "I have no authority over PennDOT. I have no authority over the regional police in Lewisburg." But you know, people don't know that. They just think county commissioners uh, are responsible for everything in the county. So when you are out there campaigning, what are some of the issues that voters uh, well, everybody's concerned about taxes. Uh, uh, nobody wants their, their property taxes uh, uh, raised, and, and uh, myself included in that. You know, I'm uh, 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 kind of tight, struggling uh, to, uh, you know, October 31st, uh, school taxes need to be paid. And then uh, not long after that, in January or February and March, uh, then there's uh, county and, and municipal taxes. So uh, uh, taxes is are probably the biggest single issue out there that, that people want to know that you're, they're, you're, we are spending their money wisely. Well, speaking of taxes and things that the commissioners do have control over, um, the, your board had announced recently that there has been some movement at Great Stream Commons, the industrial park in Great Township. It appears uh, that interest right now is in the privately owned lot still owned by a target. Um, Publicly owned land up there is still being marketed, of course. Taxpayers are on the hook for about $7.8 million left on the bond. Uh, I think the original bond was $12 million, the two bonds. Um, do you believe your board and the boards prior have done due diligence in attempting to sell that property and develop it? And are there any new actions that you might consider taking moving forward if you're reelected? Selling the commercial uh, uh, business parks real estate uh, has been tough all across the, the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and, and across the country. Uh, there, uh, 20, 30 years ago, there were a lot of business parks that were set up uh, with the communities believing that they uh, needed to be shovel ready in order to bring that next uh, large uh, employer of jobs in. Uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, during that period of time, a lot of those jobs went overseas. Uh, some of those jobs are now starting to come back, and, and there are business parks everywhere. Uh, uh, there's challenges uh, 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 to uh, making that, all those happen, and a lot of things is uh, uh, location to highways and markets, and, and so consequently, uh, 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 an owner, of, uh, operator of, of a business uh, is always looking at how many miles, how many transportation miles and dollars does it take to get the product uh, to market? And, uh, uh, and and so along Route 81 and 99 in Pennsylvania uh, has been uh, uh, highly sought after. Uh, uh, along Route 15 where we're at is, is a secondary thing and, and uh, 
So that, that has held that marketing back. I don't think anybody could have done anything a whole lot different than, than what was done. But there is some uh, interest now. Uh, uh, there's some interest to take rail into the park. Uh, uh, there's some negotiations going on on some uh, uh, some real estate in, in Great Streams Common as I sit here and speak. Obviously, uh, it's not appropriate for me to divulge any names. Uh, uh, usually those kind of uh, investors uh, uh, start to run and hide if you start to identify who they are too early. The current board is on pace to hire a new chief clerk before the end of the new year um, and before the next board is sworn into office. At least two of the current members uh, won't be around to work with the new clerk for any substantial amount of time depending on when the clerk is hired. You are comfortable with the present board taking this action or do you believe the decision should be handed off to the incoming commissioners? It's my opinion at this moment that uh, the current board should uh, choose that uh, uh, chief clerk. And the reason for that is uh, based on uh, years of experience of knowing what the chief clerk does and, and, and the important uh, things that somebody would bring to the table to do that job. The new uh, uh, commissioners coming on, you know, are good people, uh, but the, neither one of them have held any elected positions before, let alone uh, uh, county. And, and so they are going to be on a, uh, a strong or, or rapid learning curve, uh, uh, which I'm, I'm sure they're both very capable of, of learning what, what needs to be known uh, quickly. Uh, but you, you know, those years of experience that John and John have uh, are important in choosing the right kind of candidate to do the job that best serves Union County. I don't see a political twist to, to this, and, and those kind of things can always interject some negativities and, and, and what have you, but I don't see that happening in Union County at this time. And the current board has engaged uh, the candidates who, who are not currently elected in some discussions along the way. Yes, we have uh, uh, included uh, the the people that are going to be on the ballot, the candidates that are going to be on the ballot. We've included those in, in the discussions. Uh, and one-on-one, um, um, -on -one, I, I think they've, they've all indicated that they're comfortable with us choosing the next chief clerk. Union County moved uh, to invest in bicycling and outdoor recreation as a potential way to strengthen local tourism, and improve quality of life. Um, the county now owns the Buffalo Valley Rail Trail, and of course it's operated by the Trail Authority. Do you continue to support investment in trail development? Is this something that you envision as, as a priority in Union County? And um, how can a county resident who may not even own a bicycle themselves benefit from such investments? Let, let me correct what you said. Uh, uh, the county does not own the rail trail. The rail trail was purchased by the rail authority, or the trail authority, I'm sorry, uh, I keep saying rail trail, but the, the, the trail was purchased by the uh, trail authority, not by the county. The, uh, the, the trail authority owns it and operates it uh, and, and, and has its own uh, uh, board authority board members. The funding for the, the trail is uh, comes from the uh, monies uh, from the Visitors Bureau that is hotel tax money. And uh, uh, there's a Union, Snyder, Northumberland County uh, hotel tax of 5%. Uh, and and one percent of that, or twenty percent of the tax, uh, uh, goes uh, to uh, is designated to uh, pay for the uh, the maintenance and, and the operation of the trail authority. And that's an important clarification to make. And and to further be clear, the members of the authority are appointed by the board of commissioners. And and just to be clear, you voted in favor of the creation of the trail authority and of course in appointing the members this is something that you see as as a important investment and something that union county can build on yes uh, uh, there are those people i'm not necessarily one of them but there are those people who uh, um, spend their time uh, on trails of whether they're they're biking or, or walking or, or jogging uh, and uh, uh, it does bring uh, uh, tourism to the county, provides for uh, uh, better health uh, uh, for individuals, uh, uh, citizens of Union County to use those trails and, and to uh, get uh, exercise and stay healthy.